What's up, guys, and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's start this video with none other than Charles Griffin, a guy with great potential and one weakness only his midsection. And that weakness kind of ruins the beauty and aesthetics of his physique. He brought an incredible package at Tampa Pro with his coach, Matt Jensen. But he was denied victory because of his genetic makeup of abs. Well, the man has been working relentlessly to improve that. And in the latest update, you are watching him hit a vacuum in front double biceps. How crazy is that? Can't wait for Charles to announce his competition so that we can witness a totally new physique. Next up is Sean Kilreda's update. That's a solid looking 205 pounds on a guy with 5 to height. Sean Clarida made sure to give his body rest post Legion Sports win. Got his blood work done to make sure he is healthy. And now it's go time all the way to the Olympia 2022. We can make an argument that Sean was in fact in better condition at the Olympia than Derek. It was the superior shape of Derek combined with his career's best conditioning that got him the win. But Sean can always take his conditioning one step further and challenge Derek for that title again. Looking at 212 division right now, there is only one man who can stop Derek, and that's none other than Sean Clarida. Got to give credit to Nick Trigilli because that was originally his story, and he did make a video after Nick Walker stated that him and Matt are still working as a team. It turns out they are not. We all know Matt started Revive and Get Raw Nutrition and Nick was sponsored by both. And he tagged these companies in every single post. Now check out his bio plus his latest post. No mention of either Revive or Raw. We all know Nick is shooting straight for the Olympia and nothing else. But if there isn't a coach in his corner who takes health as first priority, that is a worrying point for Nick's fans. Late into that Arnold amateur prep due to being sick, Andrew jagged putting in work with the legend Flex Wheeler. He is most likely gonna win the amateur division. But will he be a factor in pro division if he decides to jump in? The lineup is so stacked. We all wanted to see William Bonac's legs, so here they are. Fullness right there where it should be. Would be great if Bonac returns with a super tight package and give Brandon a run for his money. Do you guys think he can do that? Justin Rodriguez looking as impressive as ever, with his coach claiming that he is still close to 280 pounds. He is one of the guys to watch out for. Samson is sending some big waves to the bodybuilding world with his transformation. There are so many wild cards in this lineup. It will be a real test of Andrew's potential out there. 
For classic physique, we have another update from Ramon. I gotta say he looks so much better than what we saw yesterday in the posing room. Anybody knows how much he can grow before he hits his weight cap? Do let me know in the comment section because that's gonna be a major factor in the placings in upcoming years. Brion Ansley looks right on target. And no surprise there, I mean he is always spot on since winning that Olympia back in 2017. But there are guys with more classic shape and he has to be the father time as well as these young up and coming guys. Terence is tightening up on a daily basis now. The separation in his legs is just unmatched by anyone right now. And over the years, he has proved that Classic isn't a tall guy division. So, it's gonna be a lot of fun watching him go against these young and hungry new athletes. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.